the, this is the thing, and you women, you guys are not gonna like what I'm about to tell you, but I'm gonna say it. You and, triggered my trap and you can card. Choose how are you? Wherever you want to react. Once you get to a certain threshold of man, you really aren't that special anymore, and you really don't have that much leverage. Okay. And what I mean by that is, there's plenty of attractive girls. There's a younger, hotter yeah. version of you. There's a younger, hotter version of you. There's a well, not that much younger version of you that's legal, <laughs> right? That's hotter. Better tits, whatever. That's less than a pain of a, less of a pain of in the ass, whatever. And because the, the things is the things that make women attractive are very common. Okay. And I don't think women understand this. Looks, youth to a degree, not being a pain in the ass. A lot of girls have that, especially in Miami. So are you saying I'm supposed to ignore this man if he likes me? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm, I'm saying just, I'm just trying to say no, like I'm, I'm saying that he has way more me. leverage than you do. Okay. You're 28. Okay. He has money. He can find a younger, better version of you. Probably is as we speak right now. So should fact. I just get a, a, so a guy that's less affordable? No, we're saying don't waste time. <laughs> well, who do I waste time with? If this man likes me, what's the problem? No, no, so, no, no, no. Do what you want. What I'm, you want. I'm just telling you that you don't have leverage with a guy like that. You but, think you do because okay, he asked you but, out. So but, what you're getting at is you just don't want her to feel like she deserves. That's what I'm saying. Like, what, what, what if asking, a man actually no, does question. like a is woman? Saying, <laughs> don't take it for granted because that guy. Oh, of course. No, but why would you take that, something like that for granted? Well, that's what I'm saying. Good. Like, what's the problem? Well, well maybe, no, maybe not only that. I mean, no, I am saying she doesn't deserve it. I am saying that yeah. because let's be honest. You're 28 years old. You're a sex worker. Your body's all over the Internet. Most guys that have money, that have an image, et cetera, typically don't want that. Now, this is what I suspect. He's selling a dream, like most guys do. Hey, be my girl. Fucking other girls. Probably probably is always going to be that way. He's always going to have other women. This is how millionaires move. This is how a lot of guys that have money And a lot of move. broke men move the same way. So what are we talking about no, here? No, no, no. That's fine. But what okay, I'm telling you. Okay, so if this man likes me, this, the broke no, man's no, are the same that's thing. That's cool. That's cool. But what I, what <laughs> I'd rather I'm, take the rich man. If like, I'm no, what I'm saying. Like, okay, okay, like take him, take him, take him, take him. But what I'm trying to explain is that you don't have the leverage here. And quite frankly, he has more value in a dating marketplace than you do. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. So if he doesn't want to go anywhere else and keeps bothering me, then what's the problem? He's There's no problem. I'm, okay. I'm just I'm telling you, like, see. And I, I'm not agreeing with you and I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm just saying if a person just wants to entertain you, whether if they're broke or witch, they're going to fucking cheat on you anyways, because that's the day and age we live in. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the rich guy. No, no, okay? go with it every single Thanks. time. But what I'm be prepared for him to fuck other girls. And a broke man's going to do the same. Exactly. Because which is, which is the, the right same. One. Pick, yeah. Whether if I Pick didn't right work one, as a right. sex yeah. Again, worker or not. Can you stop not. responding with your emotions for two seconds? No, because it doesn't make any sense. Whether if I worked at CVS or Publix or this, the guy's still going to cheat and do whatever the fuck he wants. No. You're missing the point. I'm telling you that the guy has more sexual market value than you do. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So understand that he has a leverage. You don't act accordingly. So in other words, don't be a raging bitch. Don't be annoying. Don't give him a headache. If he says, I want to have sex with other girls, don't bitch about it. If you want to go ahead and get wifed up, et cetera, be pleasant to be around. Because women think that they're special when they really aren't, especially when you're dealing with a guy that makes a lot of money. That's just how it is. AKA, don't take it for I'm granted. I'm telling you, I'm telling you how to deal so, with rich niggas and actually keep them. Who said I took it for granted? I'm telling you how to keep We're just staying. Because so okay. see, see, the thing is, girls will fuck a couple rich guys and think they know the game. You fucking don't. Because if you did, you would have got married. We're to not saying we're only fucking rich guys. That, stop you're going so far. What I'm saying is this. To keep a rich guy, you have to move a lot differently than all the other hoes that he's fucking. But girls think, I've dated a rich guy. I've been with an NBA player. Just because you fucked him does not necessarily mean that you're going to get commitment from him. So what I'm saying is that you have to be different from all the other girls. That's it. And I completely agree. 